Can this upstart from the UK build a better blackguard than the Fender Custom Shop? Let's put it to the test. Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and today we're going to compare this Atkin, the 52, against this Fender Custom Shop 53 reissue telly. But before we do, let's talk a little bit about Atkin guitars. Best known for his acoustic guitars, just like this one I'm holding here, Alistair Atkin started out in 1995 as a one-man operation in a small workshop hand-building acoustic guitars. His inspiration came from some pre-war Martins and Gibsons, the guitars we all know and adore. Since then, many guitars later, and quite a few endorsements from high-profile players, Alistair Atkin has now over half a dozen luthiers working for him, putting out over 350 guitars a year. Still in Canterbury, and crucially, still hand-building guitars. More recently, Alistair and his team have turned their hand to building electric guitars, going after some of the familiar silhouettes and even some of their own designs too. Anyway, that's enough about the history of Atkin guitars, let's get back to the comparison. First up, how do they compare on paper? The Atkin 52 has an Abici body with a heel contour, whereas the Custom Shop 53 has a two-piece off-center ash body. The Custom Shop is fitted with a 2A flame quarter sawn maple one-piece neck, whereas the Atkin, while still having a quarter sawn flame maple neck, also has a flame maple fingerboard as well. The Atkin has a vintage style ultra-thin aged nitro finish, whereas the Custom Shop has just a heavy relic nitro finish. In terms of neck profile, the Custom Shop has a 54 style U, which is quite chunky, whereas the Atkin has a slim C profile neck. You're going to get 22 medium jumbo frets on there with a 10 inch radius. On the Custom Shop, you're going to see 21 medium jumbo frets, but this time with a 7.25 to 9.5 compound radius. They both come with a 25.5 inch scale length. The Atkin has vintage style aged Goto 510 tuners, while Fender Custom Shop just call theirs vintage style. They both have compensated saddles, one's from the Fender Custom Shop and the other is from Goto. The difference with the bridges though is that the Atkin has dropped sides on them. The Atkin has a classic T set of Alnico 3 plain enamel wire pickups that are made in house. The Custom Shop in this case have used original Blackguard telly in the bridge and a twisted telly in the neck. In terms of the control layout, they both have a three way switch with tone and volume controls. They both have CTS pots and a CRL switch. They have cloth wire inside. The only difference you're really going to find here is the Atkin favoring a Hosco cap and Fender using their own vintage style paper and oil capacitor. Two noticeable differences you're going to find with the jack sockets is that the Fender Custom Shop has a traditional cup style socket, whereas the Atkin has a more modern screw-in style jack socket on there. Also, the truss rod adjustments on these guitars are at different ends of the neck. Right, that's enough of the tech specs. Let's pick these up and check out the build quality, the relicking, and how each of them feel as well. Okay, so we're back to the old familiar, the Custom Shop Telecaster here. Now, let's start about talking about the build quality of these guitars. And, you know, I know that when we talk about build quality from big manufacturers, we do expect it to kind of dip at points, you know, and it to be a bit on and off. But I'll be honest with you, we've dealt with Custom Shop guitars for years and they are always on point. So when I checked this guitar out, there was nothing at all here that I didn't think was pretty much perfect on there. In terms of the relicking, and this is something that I think Fender have been very clever with, when you check out any Fender Custom Shop guitar, they've branded it so well, they do their own design so well, that as soon as you see one, you know it's a Custom Shop guitar, it is really clever. And one of the big points that they've done is this heavy relic back of the neck finish, which everyone absolutely loves. I mean, I love it. I think it feels so comfy in the hands. It's really smooth. It's, it's like a satin finish on there, really. 
Now, in terms of the feel, this one does have a chunky neck. So for me, I think this is probably quite spot on to what an original early 50s Telecaster or Blackguard guitar is gonna feel like. So in terms of that, Fender pretty much got it spot on. Okay, so over to the Atkin. Now, in terms of build quality, we've done a lot of Atkin guitars and the build quality is immense. He really knows how to put a guitar together and this one is no different. With the Reliking, this one's actually a little bit more glossy than the Custom Shop. However, I know the Custom Shop does give you lots of options so you can choose different relic levels and they do this new one, Lush Closet Classic, which gives you that kind of really bright sheen to it as well. In terms of the Reliking on the fingerboard on this, though, it was something that really jumped out at me. So. This actually, to me, looks really genuine, like an original Blackguard. You've got kind of subtle lacquer checking lines in there, but there's also really subtle little dinks in there that have been dirtied up really nicely. And the lacquer checking on this has also got that kind of dirty vibe to it as well. In terms of the feel of the guitar, it is very lightweight, so this comes in at 6.3 pounds. Um, apparently that's more to do with the wood they use for the body, the uh, Abici. And also, in terms of the neck profile being very slim, that does make it feel slightly more modern too. Right, so we're going to do a quick back-to-back -back comparison so you can hear both guitars. We're going to run into the House Cornell amp. We're using uh, one of the Duke of Tone MXR pedals with uh, a digital delay, the DD3T from Boss. Uh, I'm using a Boss RC30 looper as well. You're going to hear both guitars. I'm going to go through a range of pickups on both as well. Let us know which one you think sounds best. <laughs>
At the beginning of this video, I asked the question, could this young upstart from the UK build a better guitar than the Fender Custom Shop? And the answer really is yes and no. I think both guitars are gonna to appeal to two different crowds. Now, the Atkin, I think, being a lot more modern feeling, you know, with some modern refinements like a skinnier neck, 22 frets and this hill contour on the back, and with the range of tones it's got, it's really gonna to appeal to someone that wants to take it out and gig it regularly. And the custom shop, on the other hand, is gonna to appeal to those purists who want the Fender logo, they want all the little touches to look absolutely spot on as well. So either way, if you're not gonna go wrong, you're just gonna get a different guitar. Anyway, if you do wanna find out more about either of these guitars, the links will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.